Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Um, you know, we're working on the base for this here and uh, you know, making sure that our generator is perfectly in line with our crank. We don't want to wear them bearings out. So we're working on that, but we got another Stewart to work on. And it's a whole lot like that 7A, but it's like we let it sit outside and get wet and it shrunk. This is a 10V vertical engine. And uh, we've got it. I don't know anything about it. I know it turns over. It is stiff, but I don't feel any slop in the crank. And uh, I don't know. We think that uh, maybe we can get this in here going pretty simple. Haven't had any of them that were uh, kind of like the color on this one. Just a, a flat matte green, almost an OD green. Almost looks like... Uh, well, a certain etch primer is this color. I kind of like it. Let me get it mounted to a board. We'll use that uh, board from Chris's engine. And, uh, yeah, we'll just bolt it to that. Go through it. We'll see what we got. We've got it mounted to our board. And I was thinking, we keep using this board. We're going to run out of room to put holes in it. So, let's get a nipple in here. And we're going to go through and we're going to lubricate everything on here. Same thing we always do. We'll just put this little short nipple in there so we can uh, hook up a line to it. Just air pressure. We'll run it. So we're going to go through and we're going to lubricate everything. We'll see what we've got. Things need to be fixed. We'll, we'll fix it. So Just using some light machine oil right now. And yeah, I will over oil the tar out of it. We always do. But we don't know how long it's been since this thing has seen oil. So put a little bit in our inlet so it can run down into the steam chest. And no, it's not steam oil, but we're not running it on steam. We're just going to see if it does run. So, okay, well it turns over nice. Still a little stiff, but we may need to run it in. Let me get an airline hooked up to it. We'll see what we end up with. All right, we've got our airline hooked up. We've got air in our compressor. So let's uh, put some air to it and see what we've got. Mm -hmm. Well, it seems as if our slide valve isn't seen. We'll give it a little bit more to see if it needs to smack up against the face. I would sure think that 18 pounds of pressure would be more than enough. All right. Well, even up to 30 pounds, uh, you can see it. It would try a little bit coming up here to to want to run, but no so well we know that we've got a problem with our slide valve up here right underneath it here let me uh get that pulled off i'll pull you guys up and in we can take a look at it together and see what we find okay we've got three of the four off i got them all loose I'll try to get this one off by hand of course you've got one that doesn't want to cooperate so We'll get this uh, steam chest cover off of here. We'll look inside. We did get oil into it. Let's see the shine up here. Let's see. This gasket out of the way. Get a better look. Let's see what we got. Okay, with that gasket out of the way, I'm going to use this. Uh, guys are really close. That uh, this exacto knife. If you guys can see that, but 
it is floating on our block. So something tells me we've got an issue with it not being seated. Let's get this off of here. Well, we've got our steam chest and valve assembly off of here. And you know, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it. Let me knock this loose. It falls right out, so that tells me it wasn't too tight. But I wish I could get this camera to focus and show you guys what I'm seeing. But we got a huge burr up here and over here. And well, I don't know if you guys can see the shiny spots on it. That's not helping at all, Matt. But if this is not seated with that face so that's one issue that we're going to have to address and correct which is not a big deal we can surely do that let's uh let's get our cylinder off of it we'll see what this one's got in it for rings start pulling it apart okay i've got all four of our bolts out to hold our cylinder on Side of our cylinder and very dry but it is clean I don't see any wear or excessive marking and what have we got on here for rings pull you guys over so you can see what we got well guys this one doesn't appear to have any rings on it whatsoever we just have grooves for catching and holding our steam oil so well, we know that that's not, uh, we don't have an issue with our rings. We just don't have any damn rings. So, all right. Well, let me get the studs out of our cylinder assembly. I will face this. We will face our valve block right here. We'll put it back together and we'll see what we got. So, all right. I don't know how well it'll show up, but here's a quick look of it uh, before. So, let me get this done. You guys get to see an after. Okay, well, here's after. And, and these are just marks. I've still got to blow it out. If you guys do any work on these, make sure that you blow out your ports. All of your ports. Because any residue, whatever, can get down and through here. And you could, well, wreck the inside. So, all right. That looks like that's going to be just fine now we get to work on this I thought I'd show you this I just got started and you guys can hopefully see that now there's no way this was sealing off you see the shiny spots that's what was already high and then down in here we haven't even got to it yet so yeah, we've got a little bit of work to do but who knows, this engine may have never ran. The guy could have bought a uh, machine kit and assembled it and well, it's machine, it's not fit. So that's what we're doing right now. All right guys, I'll keep going. Okay, well, you guys seen our port faces. That's all nice and cleaned up. And there's our valve face now, so. When I clean these up, what I do is I've got a piece of glass and I've got a piece of marble. I just need to go pick it up, but lay that down and I start off with 800 grit wet and dry sandpaper, lay it flat on there, put a little bit of oil in the glass. You guys can't even see my fingers, put a little bit of oil in the glass and then put the paper down on it and then put some oil on that paper. And I'll sit there and do a figure eight and just clean it up. And then I'll move to thousand grit and I end up with 1500 when I'm done. So, um, and you know, you'll have your part like this and make your figure eight. Turn it around and do the same thing because you can't keep your finger pressure even. But there, that looks really good. So, all right, before we get going too far, we're going to check to see if our packing, which it doesn't appear that there's any in there so now's the time to check that let's get our piston off of here 
and well our rod's coming with it at least this isn't fighting us when it's coming apart okay well let's open this up here and see what we've got <laughs> all right let me get this dug out so you guys can see it too there is packing in here but there you see it just fell out that uh, that packing didn't even go all the way around our rod so yeah that would have been an issue all right we have our piston and our rod assembly here and we have a steam grade silicone o-ring let's see how well this fits down here we'll get our packing nut put in there we'll see if we can get this to tighten down if we have a decent seal and then we'll lubricate it and we'll get it adjusted so let me get this down in there all right can you guys see that little o-ring way down there in the bottom you can't see it trust me it's in there put a little bit of lubricating oil on here we don't want to cut it or tear it so we've got our oil in there we'll just start our packing nut on here so that way we don't shove it back the other direction we don't want it we don't want it tight we just want it to where we can get our rod in here we'll see what we got for a fit we don't want it to drag on it we don't want it leaking past either so and if we tighten that down that should make it really stiff to move okay well guys this is a just a quick easy fix but we'll get this flipped back around you guys can see what we do next we'll get start getting to put back together and hopefully in this video you guys get to see it run we get this pulled back apart and uh, yep we'll start putting it back together all right well we've got our packing gland back down here we got our piston our connecting rod well our our piston rod this is our connecting rod down here so no binding i think we're going to be okay so let's get some uh, synthetic grease i'm just going to put a little bit of that on our piston grooves here just so we don't start it dry and uh this is all going to get passed out the exhaust eventually anyway so but we want something on there when we go to fire it up we'll get our base gasket and if you guys can see right here see how that's cut out that's important that has to go towards our steam chest because if you look at the bottom right there that's our inlet so all right Let's get this slid back down over it. I'll get it bolted back in. Where we're at is our cylinder is reattached. We're still good. Let's get our valve chest studs put back in. And uh, once again, guys, uh, an engine with studs, that to me is, that's the way to go. And uh, bolts are nice. In certain spots wherever you can use a stud yeah I'd much rather see studs in things so all right let me uh, get the rest of these put in we'll get our gasket on we'll start fitting our bow chest back on here and uh, oh, guys I think we'll be able to make this and run yet tonight we're sure gonna give it a try so all right let me keep going Okay, we have our valve chest and eccentric. We're all assembled again. We're not in time, so that's something else we gotta do. 
but it gets you guys adjusted so we can adjust our valve opening. I'll show you guys what I mean. Okay, so if you guys can see there, that's more in focus. So right here is the top of our stroke. We can just barely see that bottom port. But we put it to the bottom of our stroke. That top port, see how that's fully exposed? You want this to be traveling equally. You gotta adjust that. And in order to adjust that, we loosen up right here. This is threaded. We can run that block up and down. Let me get that adjusted. I'll show you guys what it's like when when it's traveling equally distant. Okay, well I got our valve travel adjusted. You guys see that port in there? There's that more in focus. So this is the bottom of our travel. That port is fully open. Go to the bottom. Well, that's the top of our stroke. And that one is fully open. So our valve travel is set. We need to set our valve timing. I'll show you guys how to do that too. Okay, so this is set fairly close. This is 90 degrees to our crank. So you guys can see that. Right, hang on, this will be a better way to show you. Might have to use your imagination a bit, but this will help. Okay, this is a locomotive demonstration model. So, this is our slide valve, same as what's going up and down in there, and this is our piston. But we can see everything moving together. So, okay, we'll start at top dead center. So, right here is our steam inlet. You see my finger back here in this hole? So when it's right here, that slide valve is open, allowing steam to come in, push our piston back. And on the other side, if you notice, this channel is open. This is our exhaust right here. So if we watch, it's starting to go closed. Bottom dead center, it's closed, but it's traveling past and it's opening. This one up here in the front is open, allowing the exhaust to come out steam is now pushing it forward okay, you guys see how that's working okay well let's get this Stuart back up here we may not be perfectly in time but guys we should be in the ballpark let's get this steam chest cover put back on we'll get our gasket on there and then uh well let's give it a go what do you think all right let me get going all right guys well we're all reassembled we'll get our airline hooked up to it and uh no oh. all gone it all right <clears throat> Airlines hooked up. We are going to put an exhaust on it. Just for the simple fact of with steam, you can see if we have leaks. With air, you got to feel them. And if you can't uh, hear it, you don't even know where to look. So we'll just slide one over here on the exhaust. Uh, like I said, it does turn over nice and even. So we'll put it at the center of our stroke. I will add air to it. And hopefully you guys don't have to hear that compressor run. But we'll see what happens. You ready? That's something. Dang compressor. It is alive but we've got a hell of a leak here. Coming out of our uh, steam chest gaskets. That's a 
pretty good sized leak. But as it runs, I don't know if you can hear the engine over that dang compressor. But we know what we gotta do. So all right, let me shut this off, we'll let it run out. And it does seem you can still hear the exhaust. I don't think that we're still sealing up up here. But hey, it's the first it's ran. We'll get her figured out, guys. So, and that was on 18 pounds of air. So, all right. Well, it was a short one, but you guys will get to see this fella here again. I like this one. It's cute. It's small. And, uh... It reminds me a lot of, well, that 7A over there. So, all right. Well, hey, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you're not subscribed already and you'd like to, you can do it right there this time. So, once again, you guys are fantastic. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye.